I get That's what you get! That's what you get! How dare you! <laughs> you got all this KFC chicken in front of you and you're not eating it? You here crying? I'm obese. Hey guys, it's your girl Courtney, welcome back to my channel. So, today we are going to be talking about mukbangs and why they should be stopped expeditiously they must be stopped now because you people have ruined the art of mukbangs you have ruined something that was so nice so humble so cute okay you have ruined something that was so adorable and have made it into something that i don't even recognize <laughs> Quiz. Who would have thought we would have gotten to this point? Who would have thought? I, I would have never expected it. Mukbangs actually started in South Korea. I used to actually be really into mukbangs and I don't know why. Like if you ask me why I sit there and watch someone else eat, I don't think I really have a clear answer for you. But I think that was the same for a lot of people. You would watch people eat while you're eating so you don't feel alone and it just felt like you had a friend. And now it's just become so bizarre to me. Just eat, uh, out. enjoy it. Out. Yes. It just seems like anytime YouTubers come into the mix, everything gets ruined. It gets ruined. Now we're competing. Who can fit the most food in a thumbnail? Who can finish the most amount of food in one sitting? You don't have to finish it. And then the craziest thing about it is like, you'll see someone with so much food in their thumbnail and you're thinking, oh wow, like they just photoshopped that. <laughs> They're not really gonna eat all that. <laughs> I know that even the mukbang community has drama. What what kind of drama are y'all having? All y'all do is eat. Before we get into this video, if you're new to my channel, thank you so much for coming. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for being a Reezy. Okay. If you don't know what a Reezy is, I'm gonna tell you right now. Reezy's are the best people on the internet. Becoming a Reezy may be the best thing that you ever do for yourself. And I'm not just saying that. <laughs> I'm saying the truth. Just read the comments. Become a Reezy today. The only way you can become a Reezy is if you hit the subscribe button, so do it. Do it, do it, do it. What you waiting for? What are you waiting for, actually? Real question. But honestly, when I think of mukbang channels, there's a couple people that immediately come to my mind, and the first person is definitely Nico Cado Avocado. I can't lie, your username eats. Like, <laughs> I really like the username. Okay, Nico Cado Avocado, Nico Cado Avocado. If you guys have never heard of Nikocado Avocado, this will be your first introduction to him. And I'm sorry that this, no, there's actually no positive way to bring him into your life. I remember I found him by accident and it was very, it was, it was bizarre. That was the only thing I could explain the experience, okay? I was a little bit drawn to him because I've just never seen a mukbang like that before. But then I immediately had to stop watching him because I just needed to love myself. A little bit, just a little bit. I was watching this man slurp on some noodles while farting and burping at the same time. And also while arguing with his boyfriend, like. Uh... There was too much going on. I couldn't handle it. I don't know if he still does that because I haven't watched his videos in a very, very long time. But let me just show y'all a little bit of Nico Cado Avocado. Heart attack grill. Is this a doctor? Is this a doctor right here? What are you doing? Let's go see that. Oh my god. Bro, what is he doing? Are they making a thumbnail? I guess this didn't make the cut. But sir, at your big age, this is what you're doing? The facial expressions are just like different. John, I just came up with a brilliant idea. You need to get some digesting beds. So after the, you know, the five star experience, we can lay down and digest. Hmm. That's an idea. The digesting room. Okay, so we're just scrolling down and we're seeing that he has a lot of thumbnails with noodles, right? And then we have him crying here. Why is he making out aggressively with his boyfriend? What? These are deep kisses. What are we doing here? The thumbnails are very extreme. They would definitely get me to click. <laughs> I can't lie, I would click on these thumbnails. And then you have this thumbnail where his boyfriend is aggressively screaming at him. I feel like I'm watching something cinematic play. Because why is he yelling? Why? Why is he yelling? So now we have to click. You fat pig. I'm skinny. That is so nasty. You are so gross. 
And you don't eat fast enough. You're such a loser. You are such a worthless piece of garbage. What's, what's happening? What's actually happening? I click on the video and all I'm hearing is You fat pig! I'm skinny! Let's calm it down. Let me get down a couple of notches. Eat faster! Eat faster! Get out! I'm faster! Your breath, you have to be perfect! My breath is disgusting! Wait, what? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. What's going on? Like, imagine clicking on this video expecting to simply watch a mukbang where the YouTuber is just sitting there eating and talking and smiling. But no, you click on and see verbal abuse. Eat! Faster! I know for a fact this man did not just throw something at him. Eat! Why did he fall? He reminds me of like a toddler that just fell. Has no balance at all. Why did you fall? You telling me you couldn't stay up? You couldn't stay up. What are we watching? But yeah, Nick. Why? Why are you calling me in the middle of my video? Hello? Wait, hold on. Uh, where you get your phone case? Oh, my phone case. Thanks to the sponsor of today's video, Case to Five. I'm always on the lookout for phone cases that are stylish while also still being very, very protective. And I know for a fact, Case Five is gonna come through. Their cases are made of recycled and plant-based materials and their Cheats Heck 2.0 technology is drop test approved for drops up to 9.8 feet. So as you can see, like the phone cases are extremely protective. I never have to worry about my phone cracking. And if it does drop, which happens a lot cause I think I have butter fingers, but even when it does happen, I never have to worry about it cracking or me being in distress because now I have to go and get my screen replaced. I no, not with Casetify. Casetify is known for its amazing designs, so you will always find a case that you love. And I also really like that the cases are extremely slim and not bulky. I absolutely hate bulky cases. Please, if you have a bulky case, don't bring it near me. They keep you safe since they are 100% non-toxic and not hazardous. I'm honestly so obsessed with my Casetify cases and I cannot wait to give them as a gift to my friends and my family. If you wanna get a discount off your Casetify order, go on casetify.com slash Corbeezy and you can get 15% off your order. So once again, thank you so much Casetify for sponsoring today's video. And if you wanna get 15% off, make sure to go to casetify.com slash and let's get back to the video. Hello, horrible person. Bees. But I make you money. No, you don't. Thank you. Sorry, you're never sorry. You don't be what you say. You're a piece of garbage. Oh, yeah. oh. You ruined my life. You ruined my life. <laughs> <laughs> just laughing. Like, I, I'm not, I'm not understanding. I'm not understanding. This is a video that Nika Kato posted himself. The crying. The drama. Let's just eat the food. Let's just eat. Let's just eat the food. You got all this KFC chicken in front of you and you're not eating it? You here crying? What if you don't eat that food? Sorry, you're never sorry. You never change. <laughs> you ruined my life. <laughs> you ruined my life. <laughs> I don't know if I'm supposed to be sad with them. Because I feel like they're trolling. Like they're not really mad at each other. I don't know what to believe when it comes to that. But he gets for him. I get That's what you get. of speaking. That's what I was saying. I'm sorry if this is the first time you're being introduced to Nikocado Avocado, but then at the same time, it's like, I don't really know if I should be saying sorry, because even if I didn't introduce it to you, you would have found it somehow. And this is what you would have seen. This is from the first two minutes of their video. Are you cheating on me? Stop. I can't see. Anyways, I guess I understand why some people watch them because it's like, if I was always being entertained with drama like this, I would love it. But right now, I don't really care for that type of drama because I feel like it's fake. Any drama that I feel like is kind of fake or forced, I don't like watching. I only like drama that feels like it's real. And this don't feel real. They had a video called Our Final Video Together. But do you see how many videos there are that says Our Final Video Together? How did you film two videos saying Our Final Video Together in the same year? There's another video, three years ago, Our Final Video Together. 10 months ago, our final video together. Another video from one year ago. Our final video together. We broke up. Our final video together. Emotional. Our wedding day. Our last video on YouTube. I don't know what you want me to say to this. Something's wrong. If I saw this in my recommended, like, oh, Nikocado uploaded a new video and it says our final video together, I'm not watching it. Because I know it's not the final video. He looks like he has green doo doo all over his face. Why is the guac all over your face? Let's see. Is it all is it better? Is the camera going to die? No, but you are. I made it for you with love. 
Stop! Just for Stop you. it! Oh, just for you. Just Stop! Out. Enjoy it. Out! Here, you forgot. Stop! Stop! How was one supposed to properly react to that type of footage? At your big age. At your, at your, at your big age. Why are we acting like toddlers? Why are we acting like children? Look, look at you, look at you, look at you. You're coming on the YouTube, on the tube of you. You know, the digital footprint is a real thing. The digital footprint is a real thing. You did this to yourself. No. Babe, wait. I was going through his videos and I saw that he bought a penthouse. My new house tour, I bought a $2.3 million penthouse. Nick Avocado, Avocado has money. And this explains why he's consistently posting videos. The YouTube checks are coming in, especially since he literally has Nikocado Avocado, Nikocado Avocado 2, Nikocado Avocado 3, more Nikocado, Nikocado Shorts, Noodle Pink. There's no reason you should have this many channels. And there's no reason you should be active on all of them because how? He is uploading almost every single day. So let's see his house tour. I used to be really heavy. I mean, I'm still kind of like a little heavy now, but it's just watch weight. It's just water weight. I used to be even heavier because my wallet weighed so much. It was so thick with, with bills. And I've spent all my money, massive down payment on this place. <laughs> and now I'm like two pounds lighter. Thank you guys so much for your support. You know, I started this YouTube channel on food stamps, fired from my job for being too weak to push the carts. And then eventually I went to Columbia and I lived about, you know, $3 a day with my ex and I probably made about a hundred dollars a month. He honestly explains why he even does these mukbangs. I guess I understand why he uploads every single day and why he does all this extra because he came from a place where he didn't really have much money and he started doing mukbangs and it worked. And I think this is the sad part about YouTube and just like social media in general, they see the money and they keep on going on and on and on and trying to do more exciting things or more shocking things. And it's like, once you start doing something that's really, really shocking, you have to keep on trying to one up yourself. And that's when YouTube and just all of this becomes exhausting. There's only so much you can do. So he has multiple channels where he posts a bunch of videos that are getting like millions of views, thousands of views. He's doing this daily, so he's definitely making money. Oh, we already know that. We saw the penthouse. But a lot of people have been saying that he's killing himself for views. And that is a very, very bold statement. But let's just take a look at his more Nikocado channel because it's a little bit so when you scroll down, you'll see a lot of videos referring to him being a disabled person. My new diet as a disabled person. My new diet as a disabled person. My first time eating salad in over five years. I'm back. Disabled McDonald's. What does this even mean? Disabled McDonald's. What does this mean? He has a bunch of videos that are basically talking about him being a disabled person. Honestly, when you're looking at his thumbnails, it's giving, he wants to monetize being disabled. It all started with him breaking his ribs. Apparently he broke his ribs because his body weight was too much for his ribs. From that moment on, he made sure that he was gonna make content relating to being disabled. The first video was, I broke my ribs. Then the next one, I'm at the hospital. My diagnosis has arrived. I'm disabled. Taco Tuesday. My new life as a disabled person. My new diet 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 as a disabled person. What's going on? Why are we having the same exact title over and over and over and over again? That's why I'm not exactly sure if he's being serious. It makes me think that he's just trying to monetize off of his disability and it seems like he'll stop at nothing to get clicks and get views and continue making money on YouTube. Also, I wanna to touch on the fact that people have definitely noticed that he is moving a lot for somebody who broke his ribs. There's a lot of people that believe that he didn't actually break his ribs and he's doing all of this for attention. If anything, he probably bruised his ribs. When you have broken ribs, it's, it even hurts to breathe. But um, I'm not here to call anybody a liar, but you know what? I'm not saying you a truther. <laughs> Okay, so that's that. He will stop at nothing. I mean, breaking his ribs. He goes around the store with a scooter. Well, I guess you're gonna have to waddle your way through the store now. I sent this to the police.
Well, you know you don't need that scooter. You know you don't need that scooter. I mean, Nick Mikado is just, he's a very interesting man. And I never thought that the mukbang community would go to where it is now. I, I, I never thought that. If you have never seen Nick Mikado Avocado, now you've seen him today. Let me know what your opinion on him is because it just seems like there's a lot going on. And you know the craziest thing is that Nick Mikado Avocado's channel actually started off as a vegan channel. It's crazy to me because this is where we are now. But that's basically it for Nikocado Avocado. A lot of people are very, very worried about him and it does get a little bit scary when he makes videos talking about his health, talking about being a disabled person, breaking his ribs because of his body weight. But then also we don't ever know if he's saying the truth because he records everything and he also makes a joke out of everything. Yeah, just let me know what you guys think in the comments. I actually wanted to include another person in this video, but I think we talked about him a lot and I have no room to include this person. So if you guys want me to do a part two to this, I will definitely do it. There's a lot of crazy people in the mukbang community. Can we go back to the way mukbangs were? And there's some people that I still watch. Like there's actually some mukbang channels that I watch that just eat normal portions of food and like just chat. Not forcing drama in every single video. Like this it stopped it. But anyways, I hope you guys all enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to follow my Discord. Y'all, the Discord is growing and growing every single day. Thank you so much to everyone that's been following. And also, a lot of people have been complaining about the link not working. Okay, the link is working now. I got a link that is 100% not going to change because in the past, I was posting links that expire after 10 days and I can't be doing that. It's gonna be in the description box and also right here. So go and follow the Discord, join, interact, and also follow me on all my social media. Twitch streams are coming soon. I'll see you guys all in my next one. I love you and peace.